Now, before we get into this video, this is a serious disclaimer. If I drop dead suddenly because I got ill or, you know, a gunshot wound to the stomach, self-inflicted, that did not happen, all right? I was assassinated by the evil airline known as Boeing, okay? I'm a hundred, I'm not happy, but I'm not going to kill myself, okay? Let's just get it out of the way. If I die, so much stinks, call the police and make sure you arm yourselves properly. So Boeing is under the floodlights, shall we say, this week. Well, the past week, months, really, because they are scumbags who are hiding at their planes are not fit for purpose. They are cutting corners and putting people's lives at risk. Now me, I hate flying, I can't lie. If humans were meant to fly, we'd have wings. That's my perspective on it. You know, we're not gonna be in the sky, we're meant to be grounded. So when someone tells me, oh, get on a plane, then it's the safest thing in the world, it's safer than driving. No, it's not. The safest thing in the world is keeping your feet on the floor and not going a million miles in the sky, where if anything went wrong, if a pigeon flew in, if God decided to lightning strike you, you're crashing, you're dying, bro. Doesn't matter what you think about the brace position, the brace Race position is doing fuck all and it is not saving you from a catastrophic crash okay so we have here an example the san francisco where the airport united lost a wheel on takeoff so just casually a wheel flew off fucking who knows why someone forgot to screw one of the bolts in maybe i don't i don't know how wheels work bro but thankfully the plane was okay and no one was hurt but that's just one. Here's a very interesting video I might have you add. Holy shit indeed. Look at that. It is a flame. It is flying a flame. And people are just like, huh, let's let's continue to get in these planes. These look safe and fun. Nah, bro. Look at that. It's actually a flame. It looks like it's going to crash. It looks like exactly. That shit is dangerous. Boeing is making headlines once again as one of its planes was forced to make an emergency landing in Los Angeles Wednesday evening. Shortly after takeoff from Dallas, the American Airlines pilot reported a possible mechanical issue with the Boeing 777. The plane made a safe landing at Los Angeles International Airport and was able to taxi the gate on its own where it was met by emergency crews. There are no reports of any damage or injuries. No reports of damage, bollocks, mate. They had to make an emergency landing because something flew off. They just never, you know, a business is never gonna report, oh shit, we had a bit of trouble, because then people wouldn't use them. People wouldn't get on them. You would never get in a car that someone, the business said, yeah, unfortunately, a couple of our cars have been just exploding. We don't know why, it's just kind of weird, but still buy them, they're okay. You know, it's only one in two. The chances of these cars blowing up are so small. Every day I'm reading that these Boeings are, are, are falling apart in the sky you know i like i said before i hate flying so to get on a plane it you know it's a week of stress leading up to this i'm like oh my god all these articles i've read over these tv shows am i gonna crash and die because honestly i'd rather just get shot in the face if i'm meant to die tomorrow don't make it be in a plane you know i don't want some cool superhero like lands on an island like the arrow and stuff and survives and becomes a hardened vigilante bad i don't want that dude i want a nice peaceful life where i don't have to crash on an island of scavenge for survivals this isn't the forest i don't want to find some death cult that want to eat my brains and cut my limbs off and you know sacrifice me to their god i don't need that another one seven eight seven eight hundred landing in oregon notice these are all in america so that's a positive uh, not for americans but because i'm not in america so apparently it landed safely at 1 45 p.m on friday all passengers and crew were fine inverted commas i think if i got told we're making an emergency landing because this plane is not safe to fly i think that would have some prolonged effect on me we'll conduct thorough examinate thorough 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 thor only thorough about these planes is how thoroughly shit they are ba ba bing ba da boom can you recover from that boeing no you cannot so the plane was built in 1998 i wasn't even born in 1998 and i'm as faulty as it gets what do you think a plane that is three years older than me is going to be like <laughs> You know what I mean? You'd have to be a fucking aerospace engineer scientist to understand. It's probably not the fucking best thing to get in. Ugh. God. This shit's scary, though. This shit is terrifying. Because everyone has to get in planes, you know. I'm not home. I'll need to get in a plane if I want to get home. I'm going to have to get so pissed that I don't remember the plane journey because I'll be terrified thinking that we're going to die and crash and, you know, explode into a thousand pieces. That's not what you want. Not what you want at all. And do you want to know the stinkiest thing? John Barnett. You know who he is. The man who was trying to expose them for basically skipping corners. Taking the cheap route, shall we say. Always trying to save a buck. Well, he told his friends and family, I ain't scared. If anything happens to me, it ain't suicide. And guess what happened to him? Huh. I don't know. This isn't the film, though, so I'm sure he's still alive and happy and trying to, you know, expose Bone for who they are. Nah, bro. The man died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Officials declared his death was a suicide. How thick must you be to be an official and claim it's suicide? If I was a police officer, then I swear on my granny's life, and I love my granny until, you know, I would kill for her happily. He did not commit suicide. He's been killed by Boeing because he was about to expose them, skipping corners, skip, you know, he was in the Netflix documentary 
documentary. He was actually part of it, a quality manager. He was going to expose them because he was tr they were trying to save money by sacrificing safety. That is evil. Evil incarcerated. He would have not killed himself. He was just about to expose them. He basically had for undermining, basically, all the safety concerns and all the safety precautions you have to do. They didn't give a shit. They didn't give a shit. He worked there since 85 to 2017. That's a long ass time. That's a long ass time, bro. And the man died because he committed suicide. You are smoking grass. Put down the crack pipe and look at yourself in the mirror. This man was murdered. Murdered because they cut corners and well people have died look here the crashes of 737 2018 to 346 men there was a crash in brazil i remember the football team what about the crashes that other one that disappeared the, the netflix documentary that wasn't you know it was all right but watch the youtube video on it it's much better what happened to that thing go you know, just it disappeared did it just like jeffrey epstein disappeared and died hey nah bro this stinks something stinks and i tell you what the people who wore tinfoil hats were ridiculed and mocked well Look who's laughing now. Look who's safe in their bunkers while we are all above ground, about to get a flight that's about to crash into a fucking mountaintop. Shocked and devastated by it. John was a brave, honest man of the highest integrity. And it's a, it's a, it's a huge loss to his family and his friends and to those who knew him. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, John never met a stranger and he was just a, just a great individual. And he had the courage to do the right thing. And unfortunately, uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's cost him the ultimate price. See, he's basically saying that it cost him the ultimate price. What's the ultimate price? His life. He was murdered and killed because of what he was about to expose. This gold rush of information that was about to come out about these dirty airline CUNTs putting people's lives at risk to save a few pennies because they've got away with it for years and they continue to get away with it and they will forever get away with it because the airline industry is evil full of satanic, worshipping, Nazi, Hitler, best friends, whatever you want to call them. It's disgusting. It's scary. It makes me nervous and it's like, how in the God's name, you know, they're like a, they reported profits of like 55 billion last year. Who needs more money than 55 billion? And this poor guy, John, was murdered. Murdered for what he knew, and yeah, it's it's not a, not a, not a surprise. In terms of all the information I have, that's it. There's plenty more. If you look into it, there's so many Boeing planes that have been, had to make emergency landings, but guess what? Because they have so much money, they pay businesses, they pay governments, they pay people to hide these stories. You have to go searching, you have to dig deeper than to the core of the earth to find this shit. It took me about 20 minutes just to find fucking picture of this John guy. They've hidden him. He doesn't exist anymore. John died because he shot himself because why would he shoot himself? He was scared. John wasn't scared, bro. He's a he's an older man. He's seen it all. He's worked at Bone for years and years and years. He was about to fucking ruin them and he's paid the ultimate price. His human sacrifice, we, us, everyone else is going to make it worth it. What am I going to do? Mate, look, you know what I mean? I'm not fucking... I'm an idiot. You know what, what am I going to do? Nothing. I'm an idiot. I'm going to make a video and hope more than, you know, a few people see it and go, actually, this stinks, bro. Everyone needs to be speaking about this. Because they're getting away with it and they got away with it and the governments need to get involved and they need independent insight and independent businesses or independently funded investigations into Boeing and aircraft manufacturers because they are the evil goats of the sky watching us and they know we need to get planes and they don't care. They don't care if the door flies off and we all die because everyone's still going to get on a plane. But yeah, guys, look, I'm getting quite hotted and heated about this because it, it's terrifying. It's scary. It's scary. We, uh, you know, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the end game now. You know what I mean? We truly are. And you know, this guy's paid the price. There he is, poor guy. He tried t exposing everyone that. You know, I wonder who killed him. Boeing obviously killed him, but you know, who? Did they hire a hitman? The hitman exists. This is an Agent Forty Seven shit. Like, who killed him? I need to know. And who authorized it? That's what makes you want to know. Like, because Boeing, obviously, they'll have a board. But who, you know, did they all go, right, we'll get him, we'll get him whacked? Because I guarantee one person wouldn't have agreed and will expose it. But surely, it was just maybe one guy at the top. Evil Knievel, the puppeteer. Yeah, get him whacked. You know, Breaking Bad style shit. Murdered. Hidden. You don't know about it, but yeah. John, I'm sorry, brother. You, you, you couldn't live to see your, your efforts turn to fruition but i promise you they will be exposed for the bullshit and the misery that they cause and yeah it's sad rest in peace john brother appreciate your attempt but we got to keep it going guys do not let this shit fizzle out like a wet fart this isn't a sparkler that your dad bought for bonfires night that was one pound you know one dollar this isn't a piece of shit cheap thing this is important this is people's lives and money corporate pig suits you know what to call them pigs in suits I'll say that before and i've said it again get him arrested man get him arrested